Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Maida short video series. In this video, we will be talking about construction stage analysis. So as we know, when a bridge is constructed, it ha it undergoes a lot of deformation and a lot of forces based upon the type of structure behavior it is having. And it is important to cater that using the help of construction stage analysis. So in this video, we will be seeing how do we manually define construction stage analysis in the program. So to start with here, when we go to the load tab, we are having this construction stages and we just go to the define construction stage from where we can deal with different stages that has to be defined. So I can click on add and define one stage at a time or I can just click on generate and give the name say stage and then in the suffix I will give the total number of stages like one to five. I want to see the result in stages so I click on this part and I click on OK. So you will see the stages has been defined. Now I want to edit the stage name that will be stage 3 1 and I want to generate another stage after this so I will just click on insert nest. So I have defined stage in this manner. Now when we see any stages, you will see like we are having three groups here, element boundary load and here you can see activation and deactivation option. So the idea here is we can just activate any element boundary or load group in the corresponding stages and we can deactivate them when required. So that is how the logical approach work in construction stage analysis. You can simulate any type of temporary loadings, temporary supports based upon this. First, we will give the duration for the different construction stages. So, I'll just give the duration here. While the last stage, I uh, have a duration of 10,000 days that will keep the impact of time dependent effects like creep and shrinkage. So, once we are done with it, I click on close. And now, when you go to the group, here you can see I'm having different groups which are boundary load groups and the tendon group. I need to have the structure group as well. So we will link the different elements to the structure group. So for that I go to the group here. So I click on new and here I can give the different names of my group. So first will be substructure. from so once I have defined that I click on close now as of now you can see there are no nodes and elements linked with it but I'll now link the elements and the nodes corresponding to it so I go to the work And from here I can just define the different, I can select the different elements and then accordingly assign them. So I choose this, that will be my substructure. Now peer cap is the coping, so I just drag and drop, like once I select the element I drag and drop and it will be linked with my group. Then I choose the girder. then the diaphragm then I select dummy elements so I want first like the longitudinal extreme dummy beams so I use the hidden mode and from here I can just select this extreme And the easy way here is to select and choose this axis as X and just select here. So you will see only the elements of the extreme are selected and now I can just and 
link it with dummy beam too. Now I activate all. I select the dummy material again. I select them. Now I want to deactivate this dummy beam too. And the remaining dummy beams that will be acted as my deck. I will choose this as none and then select at all and assign here. So now you see like we have linked this elements with the group and now we'll be activating the groups in the construction stages. So I go here and I go to the stage one first. In the stage one my substructure is activated. We can give the age of the members as well. As of now I have not linked time dependent effects here so it will not impact the age. So I click on OK. For next like we go to the stage two. For stage one we will also activate coping along with it. I hit on apply. Then I go to stage two where my girders are activated along with the diaphragms. Click on apply. Then under the stage 3 one, there will be temporary loads that are activated that we will activate. We'll go along the loads later on. First define the elements. So once I've done with all the elements, I click on OK. I click close. Now we can see the different stages as well. So under the stage one, you will see the substructure is activated then stage 2 girder and the diaphragm stage 3 1 there is no element activated while in stage 3 2 you will see the dummy beams activated so that is how you can just activate deactivate different groups manually for the construction stages now similarly to activate the groups of load and boundary groups as well we go here and here we are having the boundary tab and the load so I will just activate the substructure support and I click on add here substructure rigid link in this manner I click on apply while in the next stage I will activate the girder elastic link and the rigid link and I click on apply if I talk about the loads so under the first stage I will activate the cell feet So you can just see the cell feet like it has been linked to DC11. So I just go here and I activate it here. Now similarly we can add the different load groups and boundary group at the different stages and then we can simulate any conditions as per the requirement. So when we see the stages as well like suppose I go to stage 3 one. I have activated wet concrete load so I can just right click and click on display so you will see this wet concrete load being applied and if you see like this is the DC12 load group that we have activated then apart from that we will activate all the like once the deck has come into picture we will deactivate this wet concrete load while under the stage 4 all the superimposed loads corresponding to crash barrier and median strip will be activated if you go to the stage 2 the load corresponding to tenders will be activated so in this manner you can simulate any stages with the help of construction stage analysis and display it and when we go to the analysis here you will find the different controlling data for the construction stage analysis like we want to see if the analysis and the final stage so I choose this as last stage so the analysis will be completed for all the stages we have included the time dependent effects from here and we can distinguish the load cases from the dead load here so I click on add and you can just differentiate the different construction stage analysis load defined in the model so in this manner we can deal with the construction stage analysis in the program I hope this video was helpful for you see you in the next